guys welcome back to my channel today i want to share with you guys my fiddle leaf figs it's going to be kind of like a plant tour i have showed you all these three plants in different videos all separate so i thought it would be cool to bring them all together let you guys see all three of them plus their plant baby i have pruned all three of these plants the reason that i have been pruning these plants is so that i can encourage branching so they could become more tree form so a fiddle leaf fig would just grow straight up if you don't touch it which is usually called like more bush form but I know a lot of people are loving them in tree form there are different methods that you can do to encourage the branching there's pinching pruning notching all of those work I have tried all of those methods but the method that I have found to be more successful is the pruning the purpose of this video is just really to encourage you guys I know it can be a little intimidating to cut your plant I know it was when I first got mine but it has turned out to be this beautiful tree form and I am working on these two here so that they can eventually be exactly how I have managed to form this one. So I'm going to bring you guys in and just show you where I have pruned them and how they have started to develop branches. So inside here, this location here is where I pruned it the first time and it gave me one, two, three, four branches. So you can see here that I still have a bunch of these leaves. Eventually, these will fall off. I don't want to break these leaves off because they are going to strengthen the trunk of this plant. So I leave those on and eventually, as the plant continues to grow, these will just fall off on their own and then I will just start to form up here where it will be all tree form just exactly how this one is see this one doesn't have any leaves from here down it is completely just the stem this is where it was pruned gave me four branches and then I pruned it again to give me more branches out of that branch but I will not take off these leaves I will just let these fall off on their own so this one here is just determined to grow straight you can't even see it it is touching the ceiling this one is touching the ceiling so this one is frank this is fiona we had figgy and figgy was given away as a gift to a friend of mine these three plants came together in one pot and i separated the root ball and i made individual plants i'm going to pop up somewhere on here so that you guys can see how they originally were this one was just a single plant i have had this one for about four years now i've had this one for four years and it has done amazing i have it right here in front of a south facing window and it is thriving i do fertilize it often i do for fertilize throughout winter as well I know some people say you don't fertilize on the off season but I personally do I have a fertilizer a plant food that is safe to feed your plants with every watering so I do a tablespoon per gallon and I would just go throughout the house and give some of that plant food to each of my plants so being that this one is touching the ceiling again I am going to be pruning it very soon I'm not going to do it today but I am going to be pruning it soon so you guys can stay tuned for that if you want another demonstration on how it is to prune your plants. I'm gonna show you guys my technique on how I like to clean the leaves. So this one, the pot, let me show you guys here. The pot for this one is a little bit too big and it's heavy, it's ceramic, and that is why I, I staying away from ceramic planters now because they're just too heavy. So I have these two which are plastic and they are way more easier to move around and manage. And that is why I do not recommend a ceramic pot because it is just too difficult to manage and move around and deal with. These other two, even with their height they're not heavy this one I won't be able to put it in the shower so I'm just gonna have to go through here and just wipe everything down so today I'm gonna be getting these two in the shower so that I can spray down the leaves and then I go through with neem oil solution just to keep any pests off the leaves and I wipe the front and the back of the leaves one thing I would like to mention about the neem oil solution is you want to be very careful when you apply that to your plants and then you put them back in front of the sunlight because it can burn your plants leaves so I would typically do that in the evening when I have already closed the blinds and there is no sunlight shining on them that way I don't risk them burning so right now we're gonna go ahead and get these into the shower so that they can get a good spray down before I go in with the neem oil <laughs>
spray it off. Now I'm gently going to go through with this little cloth and wipe off those water drops. And then I will get this one out and bring in the next one. Just place one hand underneath the leaf just to support it and then I just gently wipe it off. showered it out got the leaves all wiped off now I'm gonna try to get this one in this one is really gonna be pushing it because it's already touching the ceiling so I don't know how that's gonna go but one thing I really wanted to say is it's very important to make sure that you guys are keeping up with cleaning your leaves the plant can't thrive it can't photosynthesize if it has dusty and dirty leaves and with the size of these leaves they are just like dust magnets they accumulate so much dust so it's very important to try to have a routine where you're doing this at least I would say at least like once a month. It is a lot when you have multiple plants, but it is a must when you have a fiddle leaf fig. So now I'm gonna get on to the second plant. Wish me luck because it is touching the ceiling. maneuver that one like three different ways and I ended up having to take down the shower curtain ride to get it in but I was able to get it in so now here comes the fun part That was definitely a challenge, but I got it out of the shower. I have some paper towels here that I'm just gonna go over the leaves and just make sure I dry them off because I don't wanna leave any water drops on the leaves. Wanna make sure you have everything dried off. Then I also have two cuttings here and my Bambino. These cuttings here, one and two. One came from Frank, one came from Fiona. I did have another cutting that I sold when we had our neighborhood yard sale. I had some plants out there, some propagations, and I was able to sell them there. So right now, this is my Fiddle Leaf Fig collection. They are thriving and doing well. I'm going to be pruning this one again. This branch is just entirely too long. It has reached the ceiling once again. This is where it was originally cut and then it was determined to just grow straight up again, pruned it again, and then it set out another branch that is determined to go straight up again. So I will be pruning this one very soon. 
and I pruned this one six months ago. They are very healthy, they are very happy. So now that I have showed you how I showered them and just clean their leaves, like just wiping them off with just plain water, we're gonna head downstairs and mix up the neem oil concoction that I make. And like I mentioned before, you wanna be very careful with putting your plants back into the sun once you have put the solution on their leaves because it can burn their leaves if they are in bright, direct sunlight. Same way out in the garden, whenever I'm spraying stuff in my garden with neem oil I do it early in the morning or I do it right in the evening once the Sun is getting ready to set let's head down and go ahead and make our neem oil concoction then I will just show you my ratio that I use and how I put it together how I spray it and that's it it's not really difficult it's all about getting the neem oil really you have to emulsify it because water and oil don't mix you have to put the neem oil in there first get it all shaken up then add your soap and shake it all up again to get everything to emulsify and then it's just pretty easy from there. So this is what the leaves are looking like now after just a shower and me wiping them down. They are looking marvelous, which is very important if you want your plant to thrive. They cannot photosynthesize if the leaves are dirty. They cannot thrive if the leaves are dirty. This is the soap I love to use when I'm working with my plants or anything in my garden. It is a very mild soap. Then I've used 100% cold pressed neem oil. So you wanna shake this up really well. And then the rags that I was using to wipe down the plants was just one of these scotch Bright reusable wipes. And I'm gonna be using a glass bottle to put my solution in. All right guys, so the recipe on here is for a quart. I'm gonna be doing two cups, half of a quart and I'm gonna be cutting the measurements in half. So I'm gonna start with this mason jar. So into this mason jar, I'm gonna cut this in half. So I'm gonna do 3 fourths teaspoon of neem oil. I shook it up really good. So 3 fourths teaspoon going in. And then I'm gonna be doing a quarter teaspoon of soap. Using the Dr. Bronner's sal suds. This is almost empty, I use it. This is lasting me for a long time now. So boom, first, before I add the soap in, I'm gonna add my water. We'll go ahead and add some water. I'm gonna shake this up real good. Then I'm gonna add my soap. And hot water works best. If you put hot water in here with this, um, just to emulsify things, it works good. So I'm gonna get this all combined. Then I'm gonna pour it back into this, the rest of my water here. And then I'm gonna get it poured into my glass jar here. That's pretty much it. It's a diluted neem oil solution. And then we're gonna get that sprayed onto my leaves. I'm gonna get the little plant babies into the bath so I can get their leaves washed.
I just manually got this one all wiped down. So the, all the leaves have been wiped down. They have my neem oil solution here. And I'm just gonna go through and just spray a little bit on like a paper towel and just gently clean off all the leaves. But as you can see, the leaves are already looking amazing with just that wipe down. All the dust is off. They're all nice and shiny. And now they are ready to thrive. This is just gonna be just another little preventative for any type of pest or anything. I don't really deal with pests. So this is really just gonna be like an extra step, little preventative, little preventative step here. But I am happy with how they are looking right now. They are looking amazing. Let me know down in the comment section below if this is gonna motivate you to go ahead and get your leaves polished up. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, you guys. Hopefully this motivated you to give some TLC to your fiddle leaf fig today get the leaves cleaned off so that they can thrive and be beautiful for you mine are looking just absolutely gorgeous now decision was a great decision they looking great i got my baby still in the bathtub i'm gonna bring those out here in a minute and get those wiped down thanks for hanging out with me today you guys hopefully this helped don't forget to please give this video a big thumbs up meet me down in the comment section below subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one